So when I see a problem like this, one thing that I always like to do is multiply by, I always like to look at multiplying by the conjugate. That is an algebraic process that is usually typically helpful. Now, unless you want to erase it, I'd recommend not writing it because that's not the technique I'm going to use to solve this. But I usually like to do this. So you got to multiply by the conjugate. So I won't write this down here. But the reason why I like doing that is because usually on a lot of problems, you guys can multiply that out. So that's 1 um, times uh, 1 plus tangent of x minus cotangent of x minus tangent cotangent of x all over 1 minus cotangent squared of x. Well, what's nice about multiplying by the conjugate is you get this difference of two squares down below, right? Which is very similar to your Pythagorean identities. We can write Pythagorean identities looking just like this. However, this multiplying by the conjugate doesn't work here because 1 minus cotangent squared isn't an identity. We can't write, you can't get 1 minus cotangent squared off of our identity. Yeah, and I could break that apart. Yes, and you could, and that come, and that's, um, and that happens like a lot. That's very helpful a lot. But in this problem, it's not really doing me too much. This goes to one. I know that. But I'm kind of coming at a stalemate, and there's some more mathematical stuff I could do. But I kind of get lost here, or not lost, but I kind of realize eh, I kind of have too much math stuff I need to do. So I say, you know what? I'm not going to multiply by the conjugate here. Let me think of something else I could do. And this is your brain thinking through the, your homework. These are things you're going to be doing. So on your homework, I should see eraser marks. I shouldn't see perfect answers every single time because you're going to make mistakes or you're going to try something and it's not going to work and you have to try something else. So another thing we can do is we should try to get rid of the denominator. We get rid of the denominator by multiplying by the Reciprocal. So let's not focus on the reciprocal of 1, because that's just 1. What's the reciprocal of cotangent? Tangent. So let's multiply the top and the bottom by tangent of x. So in doing that, I now obtain tangent of x plus tangent squared of x all over tangent of x plus 1. I just did the distributive property. Tangent times cotangent is 1, right? And now, can I factor anything out of the numerator? What do they have in common? Tangent. So if I factor out a tangent, well, I'm sorry, say that again? You, you factor out tangent of x. Yeah. yeah. If I factor out a tangent of x, can I now divide these? Are these still exactly the same? They're just reordered differently? But they're exactly the same, right? So my final answer is tangent of x. Okay, So don't feel bad, guys, if you say, you know, you know what, I'm going to try doing this. And then it doesn't seem like it's leading you anywhere. I can't.